Hey everybody, today I'm going to walk you through downloading Terrarium. If you don't know what it is, um, if you haven't heard about it, it's kind of like Kodi, um, but a lot better. So I'm going to do this in real time so you can follow along. Um, this is a fresh Amazon Fire Stick, so nothing's been done to it. I'm going to walk you through the entire process. So when you open it up, you're going to go ahead and scroll over to settings because you're going to need to change a few settings that will allow you to load this. Um, Terrarium is not in the Amazon store, so you're going to have to go to a site and I'm going to show you how to do that. What you're going to need to do is go to device and when you select device, you're going to come down to where it says developer options. You're going to click on developer options and you are going to turn on the ADB bugging and you're also going to allow apps from unknown sources. So once we have both of those on, we're going to turn this on. And one of the first things that we're going to do is we are actually going to go to the uh, Amazon store. Um, and the reason that we're going to do that is we're going to download an app from the store that allows us to pretty much turn the Fire Stick into a web browser. Um, that'll make sure that we can download stuff from the web. So when you go to apps, you'll see where the drop down menu has features, games, categories. We're going to go to categories. And then from the categories menu, we're going to drop down here. There should be one that is productivity. And here's productivity over here. If it's not under productivity, it's going to be under utilities that we're going to check. Sometimes they change it up, but there it is right there. It's going to be called downloader. You're going to go ahead and select downloader and get that started. So you're gonna download here. I already own it on one of my other ones. So it's downloading now, this is in real time. So we're actually gonna sit through the downloader process. Um, it shouldn't take too long at all. But like I said, this uh, it says right there, downloader allows Amazon Fire TV, um, Fire TV stick and the addition television owners to easily download files from the internet. Um, we're gonna go ahead and launch now since we've got it downloaded. And we're waiting for it to open. All right, so when you go into Downloader, I believe there's a setting you get a tweak in here too. It is off of the home menu and it's settings. So over here, there it is, to enable JavaScript. So you wanna enable the JavaScript and you're gonna say, uh, are you sure you really want to? Absolutely, because we want Terrarium. Um, Terrarium's gonna allow you to watch that free content right there on the Fire Stick without paying for any of those subscription fees. So. The website that we're gonna to need to go to, there's gonna be two ways that we can do this. Um, I'm gonna to try to take you the most direct way first. And if the direct way doesn't work, we're just gonna Google it. But here's the uh, HTTP. What we're gonna put in here is, I'm gonna spell it out right here in this menu. You're gonna follow along so that you can put it right in. It's T E R R. A R I U M and that's terrarium. So when you have terrarium in here, you're also going to put the backspace. I messed up. Okay, so you've got terrarium, and then what's going to follow the next is TVs. T V S. And then when we put Terrarium TVs, we're going to follow that up with .com. TVS. .com. And then what this is going to do is this is going to take us to a Terrarium download page. Um, that's going to allow us to download it from the internet. It's like I said, it's not on the Amazon store because, you know, Amazon wants you to pay for things. So we're going to go ahead and go. So terrariumtvs.com. We're going to see where that takes us. All right, it's going to tell you that it's important that uh, JavaScript is typically disabled, but we've already enabled it, so we're good to go. We can just go ahead and select OK. All right, so we are on the Terrarium TV download page. You'll see that little red circle right there. That's actually kind of like a mouse. When you click right and click left with your remote, 
you can move that little mouse and you can select things. So what we're actually looking for here is where it says Terrarium TV APK. And you can go ahead and click there. And once you click there, it's going to take you to the 1.9.1 download page. This is updated in 2018, so it's the freshest one. We're just looking on here for where it says, get Terrarium, uh, one more link. There it is, where it says download latest version APK. So you're gonna go ahead and click to where it says click here. Sometimes the mouse jumps a little bit too far, but we went ahead and click there and it should be downloading. There we go. So it is downloading Terrarium right now. We are one step closer. In fact, we are pretty, pretty close because after it downloads, there we go, there's the install page. We wanna go ahead and, we gotta scroll down to the bottom and it's gonna give us the option to install. We're gonna go ahead and click on install. We've already uh, enabled the, uh, the ADB debugging. We've already allowed for unknown sources. Um, we've already enabled the JavaScript. So this should be flawless. Once it's done installing, you're gonna see the last, the last thing you're gonna to have to ever, um, ever use because you won't have to pay for the Hulu, you won't have to pay for the Netflix, um, you won't have to pay for Dish Network, DirecTV, Spectrum, any of that because all of these TV shows and movies are gonna be right here on Terrarium. Um, if you've ever used Kodi before, this is a lot simpler than Kodi, it really is because you also have, this is like old school TV add-ons if you've ever uh, used that. So it says it's ready to open, we're gonna go ahead and open it. Um, you can actually save what almost looks like a DVR list for on demand, um, and that makes it a lot easier because you don't have to search for your shows every single time. They're gonna be right there. This change log here, this is just what's current in this update. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay because all this stuff is good, and you're gonna see right here, now the yes player is recommended. Um, there's a few different players. If you've already downloaded VLC or MX, um, you can still use the EXO player, but it's discontinued so it won't receive any more updates. Um, this says that if you use the yes player, there's less video ads. There are so few ads on here, it's unreal. Um, here's a disclaimer basically saying that, hey, you know, um, if they're putting anything on here that somebody else wants taken down, uh, go ahead and email them. I've never seen anything taken down. So heads up on that. Nothing has ever been taken down on here. Um, over here, when we, when we select a video, it's going to ask you to, um, which, which player you want to use. So I know Lethal Weapon, I think, was on last night. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll over. This is, all these are brand new shows. So all these are so current. You go ahead and go in here, uh, go to where it says Seasons. So you select the show, select the season you want to watch, because this does have, um, you know, seasons, seasons past. If this is a show you're looking to binge watch, yes, it has all the seasons. So we're on season two of Lethal Weapon right now. We're gonna go down and select. And then once you're on season two, let's see here, press play. So when you find the episode you wanna watch, you'll press the play button instead of the select button. No big deal, it really makes it easier. So right now you see where it says, we're on two, uh, season two, episode one. Well, we can scroll over and select which episode we're gonna watch. So right now we're on six, seven, eight. Um, we're gonna look for January's episode because that should be the most current. All right. Let's go with this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and press play. And this is gonna get all the sources. Um, you can switch the video player. Like I mentioned, you have the XO, the Yes player. Um, once you've selected one of these, you won't have to do this ever again. Um, it just gives you that option. So right here, it has all your sources. If it says slow server, it doesn't mean that it's, that it's a, bad, uh, a bad source, but it does mean that it may buffer. So I would avoid those pretty much at all costs, um, just because, you know, it's kind of like a commercial. It's like a break. Um, but here you have where it actually has the size of the file. Now I'll, I'll get into where that kind of comes into play. So right here you've got 720p, you've got HD sources. Just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and select an HD source. It's a, it's a lower size. 
So it's actually gonna be a lot quicker. But when I select this HD source, it has 439 megs. Here's where it comes into play. When I select it, I can either play it directly, but here's the best part. I can download it. So if I wanna take it on the road, if I don't wanna use my data later, um, you know, if your, your Fire Stick has uh, eight gigs um, that it can store on there. So if you find yourself without Wi-Fi or spotty Wi-Fi somewhere, you've already downloaded it, you've got it. Now I don't recommend this because you know, once you download it, you start getting into you know, the gray area of legal. But playing and streaming is completely legal, so we're just gonna go ahead and play. And once this plays, it's gonna tell you about the Yes player, it's not installed. Sure, I do wanna install it um, because that is the best player right now. Like I said, this is real time, we're gonna go through it. Downloading pretty quick, we're already over 70%. And we're, like I said, you only have to do this once. We're gonna go ahead and install just like we did Terrarium. It's, we're like I said, one step closer and we're almost done. So this is installing now. And right after this is done installing, Lethal Weapon, the, uh, the most current episode should be right on there. And then right after we, you know, I'll show you what this video looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and take you back and show you where the movies are um, and how you can add things to favorites. So that'll make it real easy and convenient for you. Um, you won't wanna use anything else. The days of Cody are kind of gone. Um, the expense of this Direct TV now, of the Hulu, you know, it, it starts to add up. So, you know, if, who wants to do that? So it says no video found, and that's because Yes Player just opened in its own window. So we're just gonna click the back button and that's fine. Now, we're gonna go ahead and select this one more time. Like I said, this is gonna be the only time you have to do this. You're gonna go ahead and select play, and now it is gonna be used the Yes Player. And it's gonna be right here, Lethal Weapon Season 2, Episode 14. This was just on, I believe it was last night. So after the initial loading, probably takes about five, maybe 10 seconds, um, but after that, there's no commercials, and that's the best thing. There's no commercials, I don't have to wait for anything, and the quality should be pretty decent. Yeah, the quality is really decent. So, this is Lethal Weapon, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this now, we're gonna get out of here so I don't get in trouble for any copyright content stuff. I didn't show you too much. Um, so we're gonna go back, and I'm gonna show you the main page. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll back, and just keep pushing the back button until you get to the menu. Pretty simple and straightforward. So there's the lethal weapon that you got to choose. If you wanted to choose something else, that's completely up to you. Now in the top left hand corner, this is what's gonna be kind of cool. This is what's trending, what people are watching. You may not have the same preferences as other people. So you can do what's recently updated. You can do new shows, you can do premieres. So this is what's recently updated. It's got the newest uh, episode of The X-Files, Flash, Supergirl, Lucifer. Those are all recently updated. Riverdale. So I'm gonna go back one more. Here's the menu, we're gonna go ahead and select. This is where you can see the movies. And then your favorites is gonna be where we put our favorites at. It's kinda like your own personal DVR. So here's your movies. When you get into movies, here's the most popular. Doesn't mean that you like the same things. So we're gonna go over to the drop down menu where it says most popular. Here's in theaters, here's new HD releases, Here's top rated, and it keeps going, you know, the different genres. So I like new HD releases um, because it gives me a bigger, a wider range of, of movies. So like I said, we all don't have the same preferences, but you will be able to find something you like, I promise. Um, all these are released 2017, 2018. Um, if you want to find something else, there's also the search function um, up at the top right-hand corner where that hourglass is. I'm not going to go too much into that because you know how to search for things. But what I am gonna do, I am gonna take you back to the TV shows. I'm gonna show you how to add something to your favorites to make it really easy and really convenient. So I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna add Lethal Weapon, This Is Us, and Shameless all to my, uh, my favorites. So when I select this, I'm just gonna scroll over to the right and there's a star up there. When I select that star, it adds it to my favorites. Now it's gonna be in my own personal on-demand TV. So I'm gonna go, this is us. Like I said, same thing, we're gonna scroll over to the star. We're adding it to the favorites. One more time, we're gonna go to Shameless. We're gonna select it. We're gonna scroll over to the star and we're gonna add it. So once we have that added by selecting the star, we're gonna go back up to the main 
menu. So up here, we got a drop down, and we're gonna have favorites. And everything I just added is just gonna be on that favorites menu. Makes it real easy to keep up with your shows. So once they're there, it makes it really convenient. It's like your own personal DVR. So I hope this helped you out. It's really easy. If you have any other questions or comments or anything about Terrarium, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer those questions as best as I can. Um, if I can't answer them directly, I'll go ahead and get you an answer. But uh, we're also going to do a few more videos on a few of these other uh, services and apps and things like that. So if you want to subscribe, you'll keep up to date with those. Um, other than that, have a good one, guys. I hope this helped you out and uh, saved you some money.